So share with us a little bit. Not every student knows the learning experiences, but if somebody doesn't know about FFA, what is it that you want them to know? And how, why would you encourage someone to consider this program? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start. I did not think that FFA was gonna be something for me. Um, as a um, African-American female, I didn't really see my place in it, and I thought that it was all about farming and animals. But then um, Mr. Lundgren and my ACE Cambridge advisor both saw something in me. And once I started coming to FFA meetings, I noticed that it was more than just about growing plants and raising up animals, and that it was about, like we mentioned earlier, making connections. But you also get to learn things that can help you in your future careers, even if it doesn't have anything to do with agriculture, which is what we do in our leadership development events like she was talking about earlier, where you get to learn about parliam parliamentary procedure, or there's prepared speaking and extemporaneous speaking where you um, just help yourself with public speaking. Um, just stuff like that really helps. Mm -hmm. And for you? Yeah, um, I just really want people to know that it's more than just animals and farming. It's, you learn so many future skills that you will use in your life, like public speaking, mm -hmm. or biz, like business, you learn a lot of business, or budgeting for those who have animals, or an SAE that requ requires using money responsibly. Yeah, yeah, and for you? Everything. I love agri agriculture. We do food labs, so many food labs, where yeah. we get to learn how like different food is made. Yeah. We made ice cream. How was that ice cream? It was a little salty. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> so we made fudge. Uh -huh. We made peanut butter fudge. It was so good. When are you making fudge again? I need to come. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to. You'd have to ask Miss Johnson. Okay. All but right. she learned it in one of her meetings because the teachers do like district meetings and like different activities to learn. Workshops, that's what they called. Yeah. And she learned how to make punch. So she brought it and it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, you, you, there's a whole lot more that you can learn that, that, that you can utilize professionally but also personally, right? Um, for a student that might be hesitant, we know you shared of all the advantages. But in addition to that, what's that one? Th okay, when you graduate, what is your hope? Where, where is it that you want to be? What do you want to use, utilize this skill for once you graduate, post-secondary? Um, I personally have always wanted to go into law and government, so I've always wanted to be a lawyer. Um, and agriculture has made me want to specify more into being an agricultural lawyer. Um, but either way, just going into law and government, what I learned in agriculture has ins like insanely helped it mm -hmm. helped me in an insane amount mm -hmm. with what I am going to be doing in that, inter in that industry. Um, I've been to city council meetings, mm -hmm. and it's exactly what we do inside parliament parliamentary procedure. So if I wanted to hold a government position, I would have a lot of knowledge on how to do that. So, so one thing that I'm hearing here, it's specialized knowledge, right? Contextual and specialized, specialized knowledge. And let me explain why this is so important, because sometimes when you learn content, and you learn content in isolation to the context and how to apply that. It, it, it's sometimes meaningless, right? Because you know it, but you haven't had sufficient practice. So this is key here. You've learned it, maybe you practice it a little bit here and there, but you haven't had sufficient practice that makes that learning permanent. Because it's practice that makes practice that makes learning permanent. In your, in this area here, every single day you get to practice what you're learning. So you were talking a little bit earlier about confidence. I think it was you. You mentioned the word confidence, right? It helps with your confidence. It absolutely does because when you keep practicing what you're learning, what does it do to your self-esteem? Boost your self-esteem. Yeah. It boosts your self-esteem right? There's a difference between thinking, I think maybe I can, or I think I can versus I know I can. For you guys and everybody that's part of the FFA program, it, it's, it's that context that's added to the learning that makes it so powerful and so meaningful. So Ariel, I mean, the fact that you're part of this program doesn't mean that you, you can venture into the avenue of being studying to become a lawyer, right? 
you can, this is just a pathway, but, but you can also pursue other pathways, which is our goal for our students here in Volusia County to have multiple opportunities of pathways, right? And anything else you want to share in terms of you for when you graduate, post-secondary success? Um, you know, I'm only in eighth grade yet, and I still don't know exactly what I want to do, but I know now for sure that I want it to be somewhere in the agricultural business, and that I want to continue advocating for what I love and just helping it out. Well, you know what, you can apply. You guys just started out by talking all the multiple ways that you can apply what you're learning. And have you decided yet? Oh, I do. <laughs> but mine isn't related to agriculture, but I do love agriculture. And I want to do that, like, after, after. But I want to go into the Air Force wow. and be an aerospace engineer. But, but, mm -hmm. I still want to have animals. I want to have a farm. You can, well, you can do more than one thing, right? I, and, and if I had to do it all over again, I probably would do more than one thing, right? Because, but back then, guys, when we were going to school, we didn't have all these opportunities that now exist for our students. So you guys need to take full advantage of all the opportunities that are out there for you and make sure that, that your, col your friends are doing the same. We definitely want to get the word out about this, the tremendous benefits of this program. And really, you guys are what you, we, we, I like to call the additive value, what makes it so special, you and your teachers. So thank you for attending today. And do you want to say anything that, anything you're grateful for? It's a holiday season. It's something that you're grateful for as we conclude. Um, I'm just grateful for everybody who's helped me throughout life and is going to continue helping me. That's powerful. I'm grateful for all the competitions, all the opportunities. I volunteer so much because of agriculture, and I love doing every single one of it. We do so many field trips that like show me so many different things. I'm so grateful for that. Aww. I'm grateful, grateful for my advisors and my fellow officer team and members because they, it really makes you feel like you're, you have a place, it's a community. A sense of belonging. I love that. Well, I'm grateful to have wonderful students like you guys, and I wish each and every one of you a happy, day ho happy holiday season.